Habari yako dadi? Mzuri. Salamu unaitwa nani babangu? Naitwa Baranaba Kimorio Odongo. Baranaba Kimorio Wadongo. Odongo. Odongo. Yeah. Una nyumba nyingi za udongo mzee ama? Hapa nazina nyumba mingi. Okay. Yeah. Jina Odongo linamaanisha nini? Odongo ni matope. Ni matope? Yeah. <laughs> Kwa hivyo twende Kiswahili. Unasema unaitwa nani nani nani? Nan, nan, Baranaba Kimori Odongo. Hiyo Odongo sasa itaje Kiswahili? Eh? Baranaba kido, eh? Baranaba Kimori Odongo. Hiyo Odongo itaje Kiswahili sasa? Sikijui hapo. Baranaba Kimori Matope. Oh. Kweli uongo? Eh, ni kweli. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bwana Matope. Yeah. Mwanagenzi ni mtu aina gani? Anafanya shughuli gani mwanagenzi? Hapo sijajua sana. Kesi kidogo. Sijajua. Mwanagenzi, mwanagenzi. Mwanagenzi ni mjengiaji. Ni mjengi ya wa nyumba. <laughs> Shukran sana baba. Wewe tupata mtumwa gani tu atatuambia nini? Pendi mtazamaji karibu ndani ya Kiji Weni Show Jumamosi nyingine tena najua mnani Enzi. Umekaa eh pale ndani ya TV yako na niangalia. Najua una keep social distance kama kawaida, alafu vile vile pia najua eh una stay at home maana corona is real kama kawa kama kalambwanda manake tuna entertain lakini pia tunafata eh, zile orders za government zile zinazotuambia basi mpenzi mtazamaji ningependa kupatia eh, tofauti eh, kati ya bird na fly a bird can fly but a fly cannot bird niko ndani eh, ya huruma flats kama kawa kama kalambwana na leo ndani ya kijiweni show tutakuwa tunakwenda kuzungumzia hili swala na mchakato mzima wa elimu ya Kenya kufikia sahi tangu hili janga la corona liweze kuingia hiyo itakuwa ni katika salams pili nitakupatia fursa pia ya kuweza eh, kukuuliza swali ili, ili uweze kujishindia au sio ile air time hapo ni katika lile swala letu zima la puagika alafu kutakuwa na kitengo kile cha wasanii wakali wasanii wa kutisha wasanii ambao wamekuja kali ndani ya hii Kenya we are supporting 254 music but before ni waache kama kawa kama kalambwanda ningependa kuacha na nyimbo yake pixel white inayosema take offer enjoy the luanda boy music kama kawa kama kalambwanda keep it locked i'll be back Na mpenzi mtazamaji natumai umeweza kuenjoy the music take over by Pixel White Luanda Boy anakuambia take over omwami take over omwami ni, ni neno la la kibaluya omwami linamaanisha e, Mungu linamaanisha yani linamaanisha e, mtukufu fulani kwa hivyo unamwacha Mungu anaweza ku take over katika maisha yako na kila kitu kitakuwa sawa sawia karibu ndani ya salamu tutakuwa tunauliza mchakato mzima wa elimu unaelekea wapi kulingana sa hizi tunajua ni wale wa, wa, wa grade 4 eh, sana 4 na 8 na form 4 ndio wamerudi shule lakini hawa vijana wengine ambao wako nyumbani je watakuwa wanafanya nini ni kitu gani kinafanyika vipi alafu je wanaathirika vipi kuhusiana na mchakato mzima wa elimu tembea na mimi wewe <laughs> mambo vipi poa sana hebu niambie brother unaitwa nani naitwa Brian Omondi Brian Omondi yeah. unakumekula nini asubuhi yeah. asubuhi ni chai tu na mkate <laughs> Wenye siagi ama <laughs> kweli au sio biashara ya ndudhi inakupeleka vipi bro kwa sasa hizi iko chini kiasi lakini tunangangana tu tunangangana bro yeah. inahitajika ina hivyo kaka brother okay tukiangalia mchakato mzima wa elimu brother maana wewe ni youth tukiangalia mchakato mzima wa elimu au sio pale ambapo umefikia sasa hizi na ile janga la corona ukimtazama uki, 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 wako unafikiri tunaelekea wapi kwa kweli hapo hapo watu wanarudi nyuma. Jusa hata watoto wamesahau vitu zote walifundishwa. Kila kitu ime. Sasa hata kile zao. Job mtaani ndo wanafikiri. Na nini ma games hivi mtaani mtaani. Unaona sasa elimu inapotea kwa kichwa. Mimi naomba tu hiki kitu irudishwe mbio mbio. Mm. Na sasa wewe kama wewe brother, 
una 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 unachangia vipi ili kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo elimu haiwezi didimia kama wewe maana ni jukumu langu mimi wewe na yule mwingine tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba hao watoto hawawezi kabisa kusahau mambo ya shule wewe kama wewe unachukua jukumu gani kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba mtoto amebaki katika standardi yake ah toto kwanza pande yangu mimi hata nikiona wanaruka ruka hapa na watu ambio endeni msome mbio mbi hata wanajua hao wanajua wajezi cheza hapa kutoka mpira ni kusoma madada zangu wadogo na ndugu zangu wadogo kwa plot penye naka unakumbusha mtoto eh unamuuliza swali uonekaa kwa rada unajua hadi wamenizoea ah baba rik ndio ule akijibu na jana mpe 10 hadi wamenitambua na mpenzi mtazamaji baraka ni jukumu letu sote kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wamebakia pale katika ile geje ambayo inatakikana wacha nizungumze na baba hapa nijue anadhiambia nini kuhusiana na masuala haya Dadi habari yako? Ni mzuri sana. Salama. Baba ibu niambia unaitwa nani na unaishi wapi? Ah, naitwa Oyo Dawa. Anaishi hapa Oroma Ngei. Okay. Baba, natume una watoto. Ndio. Okay. Ifsa hizi una shule zinasemekana kwamba kufunguliwa rasmi skuli eh ni 2021. Na pia watu hawako shuwa maana ke namba za corona zinazidi kupanda. Je, eh imekuathiri vipi watoto wako ukiwaangalia sasa hizi behavior zao jinsi ambavyo wanakaa je wanakaa katika misingi ya elimu ama oh, watoto sasa hizi kwa watoto watoto wote anaranda randa na wacha masomo na anacheza chesa mpira na kurudi kwa nyumba na kuchoka na lala sasa mmesinda huyu utafanya nini okay ni, na nikuulize wewe kama mzazi Eh manake msi mtoto wako tu manake mtoto wako na ule mtoto wa jirani wote ni watoto wako. Unachukua jukumu gani kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wamebaki katika standard ya masomo, hawapotezi zile fikra za masomo. Unachukua jukumu gani wewe kama mzazi? Sasa elimu unaandika elimu analipanga hiyo pesa kidogo ya kufundisha hayo watoto kwa plot kidogo kidogo kiasi kiasi. Au mnachukua pesa mna mnachangisha pesa mnaleta mwalimu kidogo anawafundisha watoto. That is very good. Na mkiangalia ina, itawasaidia. Nataka kusaidia kidogo kuliko kwa watoto kurandaranda wasichana na sika mimba. Ha? Sasa hiyo kama mmekaa pamoja aitembelee ile sana na kapa moja na soma alafu anaendelea. Naam, shukrani sana baba. Ni maoni yake tu anakuambia kwamba wanachukua pesa wanachangisha kwa, kwa plot, wanachangisha pesa kuhakikisha kwamba wameleta mwalimu ambaye atakuwa anaweza kuwasomesha wale watoto. Manake si wote ambao wanaweza kufikia e, e, masuala ya elimu katika mitandao. Wengine hawana TV, wengine hawana hata redio, wengine hawana simu, smartphones, wengine hawana laptop. Kwa hivyo yeye yeah, anachukua jukumu na wenzake kuweza kuita mwalimu, kuweza kumlipa, kuweza kufundisha watoto. Tusonge mbele tuangalie maoni itakuwa vipi. Yes, habari yako mama? Mzuri. Salama mama hebu niambie unaitwa nani na unafanya shughuli gani? Mimi naitwa Grace Washira na nauza na, na nyanya hapa. Unauza nyanya hapa huruma. Okay, mami hivi sasa hizi yasemekana kwamba shule kufunguliwa mpaka 2020 eh, 21 hapo. Na pia watu hawako shua. Na kuna watoto wengi ambao wako nyumbani. Wewe ukiangalia hili swala la, la shule kupelekwa kufunguliwa um, e, siku za mbali zaidi litaaffect li vipi mtoto? Wataendelea na kuharibika na at the same time e, mako hali feru na kasi yake. Kwa maana hii corona wagezuia mwanzo na hawagefanya chenye walifanya atikwambia watoto atiwaende wakatesti na watoto wetu. Kwa nini wanyama? Waende wakawatest. Waende wakatesti watoto kama kuna corona na, wa, wa, ni, na, wa, na watoto kiwago fulani kwa nini wanyama wanaenda kutesti nao uh-huh. si wagezuia kitu ya kwanza waweke mipango mizuri watoto warudi shule na at the same time wanawabia warudi shule hizo ma classes wamejenga hakuna kilasi wamejenga hakuna vitu nini buildings zingine wameogesea wanaambia warudi waende wapi si niwaende wakauwe watoto maoni yake mama E, mheshimiwa Magohana natumai ujumbe umeupata mama amekupatia ujumbe clear and direct 
na tumei umeupata ujumbe wa mama. Okay mama, unachukua jukumu gani wewe kama wewe kama mama kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba mtoto akili yake imebaki pale pale katika eh, masuala na shule na haharibiki. Kwa upande wangu mimi kitu ya kwanza namwambia wakae kwa nyumba waangalie vitabu wasome masome alafu wakisoma masome alafu wanarudi wanatoka wanaenda break kidogo hivyo hivyo. E, lakini ni ngumu juu mimi niko hapa nikiwatafutia nini chakula uchumi ndio hiyo iko iko baya hivyo na tena siwezi nikakaa nao nyumba atinawaangalia na tena at the same time nawatafutia chakula eh so inakuwa ni hali ngumu hata tafrani ni ngumu ni ngumu shukrani sana mama hmm. nimependa maoni yako hmm. na mni baadhi tu wa wazazi ambao wanatupatia maoni yao kuhusiana na mchakato mzima wa watoto kubaki nyumbani kuhusiana na mchakato mzima wa watoto na elimu tutaka tupate tu maoni ya wakaazi wa huruma watuambie je hao wanachangia vipi? Hao wana feel vipi? Wako na hisia gani tete kuhusiana hili swala zima la watoto na elimu na corona? Na mpenzi mtazamaji mpatana na mkwe wangu baba angu hapa kidogo nitaka nionge naye habari yako mzee? Mzuri. Baba niambia unaitwa nani na unafanya una, una, una shughuli gani na unaishi wapi? Mimi naishi Kayole. Naam. Mimi ni Muganda. Ya naam. Na kino kwa mimi ni mgeni. Pardon? Mimi ni mgeni huko. Okay. Uko na watoto huku Kenya? Niko na watoto ndio. Wanasoma huku Kenya? Wanasoma huko. Okay, baba, kulingana sasa hizi kwamba shule zitafunguliwa 2021 na pia it's 50-50 watu hawako shule maana kadri siku zinavyokwenda tunapata cases za corona zinazidi kupanda. Je, baba uko na hisia gani kuhusiana watoto na shule kufikia sasa hizi? Hapo bado na wasiwasi ya watoto nilikuwa nadhania mwako jao ndio ya mzuri mm -hmm. lakini kuna wale saa hii wameshaarudi wako kwa shule ndi, e. lakini wengi wao hawajarudi shule e, wengi wao hawajarudi shule je unaona vipi hiyo hali hata mimi na wasiwasi sielewi vizuri uielewi vizuri e. na baba wewe kama wewe kama mzazi unachukua unachukua jukumu gani kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba watoto hawarandirandi kuweza kuzuia hizi mimba za mapema kuzuia kuweza kuzuia uhalifu kuweza kuzu, kama mtoto wako wewe kama na, na watoto wa jamii unachukua jukumu gani kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba mtoto akili yake imebaki pale pale katika masomo imekuwa kazi ngumu lakini tunajaribu wasomee kwa nyumba lakini bado ni ngumu sana wakiwa nyumbani na saizi wewe uko huko hmm. watoto wako si wako nyumbani wako nyumbani wako na mama wako na yeye lakini hawezi kuwa nao wote hawezi kuwa nao wote hmm. wewe saizi ukidhania yule mtoto wako kule anafanya nini ha, si si, si, si wana akifanya kitu kizuri huko kwa mchezo tu huko kwa mchezo tu hmm. ili kuweza kuhakikisha hiyo michezo kwamba wameingia kabisa hmm. ndani ya ya vile ambavyo unataka wewe hmm. utachukua hatua gani maana unajua walimu wanafanya kazi ngumu sana hmm. Umeweza kujua hiyo walimu wanafanya kazi ngumu sana. Sasa wewe kama baba mm. ni swala gani ambalo ni mchakato gani ambao unaufanya? Ha kazi ya watoto imekuwa ngumu kwa sisi, walimu ndio walikuwa natufanyia kazi Nama. ngumu. Kwa hivyo umekuja ume, umekuja kujua kwamba walimu walikuwa wanafanya kazi. Walikuwa wanafanya kazi ngumu. Habari to the government. Walimu wanafanya kazi ya ziada. Ni uchungu sana sisi kama wakenya kuweza kuona walimu wamegoma. Walimu hawajalipwa mshahara wao. Sasa hizi ndio wazazi tumeweza wameza kujua kwamba walimu wanafanya shughuli ya maana, wanapiga kazi, wanapiga deal so kafiri. It's up to you the government uweza kuhakikisha walimu wetu wamesimama upright. Nimeshukuru sana baba. Sawa. Tupate mtu mwingine tuangalie hata tuambie nini maoni yake. Mambo vipi? Ah, mambo sawa. Hebu bro niambie unaitwa nani? Ah, mimi kwa majina yetu CJ Martin. CJ Martin. Na wewe mrembo? Naitwa Meldi. Meldi. Na wewe bro? Mimi naitwa Kaxi Calvin. Na wewe? Naitwa Jennifer Lopez Jailu. Nimepatana na kina Jennifer Lopez wa Kenya, ma youth na vijana ambao ni wa, ni wa shule. Bro, unasoma? Ah, mimi nimemaliza. Umemaliza? Eh. Unasoma? Unasoma. Unasoma wapi? Ndururuno. Ndururuno High School Primary. Ndururuno, Ndururuno High School. High School. Okay, mbona hujaenda shule? Sidich Corona. Due to Corona. Yeah, na pia pharmacy kidogo, pharmacy vizuri. Okay, due to Corona, yes. Mm, na pia si ni classes na form for ndo naenda. Okay. Sasa we kwa saa hizi eh huoni kwamba ukirudi school 2021 utakuwa umesahau kila kitu. Sasa kwa msahau. Ha? Kwa sababu si tunasoma nyumbani. Mnasoma nyumbani. Mm. Unachukua ni vitu gani ambavyo vinakusaidia kusoma ukiwa nyumbani? Uh, ukimaliza kazi zako za nyumbani si unaanza kusoma at your free time. Sasa unatumia unatumia vifaa kama gani na gani ukiwa unasoma? kama hivi tutoka shule tulichukua test book zetu na kuna runinga na nini kwa hivyo wewe umeweza kujaliwa kupata runinga na vitu kama hivyo 
Mm. Najua ukiangalia kusoma nyumbani na kusoma shule. E, wapi ni rais kusomea? E, afadhali shule. Afadhali? Shule. Kwa nini iwe shule ni rais na nyumbani si rais? Kwa sababu shule kuna ile restriction lazima utasoma. Nyumbani kuna zenye utakaa na zenye utashikana sana hata uta free time yako ita take over, unaweza kosa, unaweza enda mali ukose hiyo siku masaa. Okay. Brother wewe umemaliza shule. Na saa hizi na kuona unapiga ruwe na na sister kwa ambaye hajamaliza shule. Okay? Sasa wewe unachangia vipi kuhakikisha kwamba huyu dada yako mind yake mindset yake bado imebaki pale pale kwa masomo. Haezi kuharibika, haezi kuingia stray vitu kama hizo. Mimi Kenya mimi muambia, mimi muambia ni kwa hii life akikuja to join. Huko siku rais. So asichekeshe. Asikuja apate na watu wengine wa mdanganye hivi kitu kidogo mdanganye na anajua bado hajamazana haja mambo ya shule. Sasa mimi hata kijana mu advice ingi. Eh bado keep to focus na shule. Jua jua akimaliza hivi anaweza kuja iitwe dakika mbili mahali ambapo eh tunaweza tunatakanga mrembo fulani hivi na wao kuna hizo qualifications zake zote na ameweza na bado good discipline ni poa juu kuna bado watu wazi enda na mambo bad manners na usimuchukuliwe okay sana na jasaa mimi mfundisha kwa responsible kwa discipline na bado hawezi kuwa na focus na ile kisa kitu ana aim aki aim atafika okay haya mimi kwa mfurahia anlenga tu kustick bila yako kwa hivyo mtu na kwa responsible vile tu kwa mimi mumpeleka na rada type zote yake hapo shukrani sana bro nimekuona ah, wewe ni kijana very responsible ah, na hakikisha dada yako ni mrembo hakikisha kwamba amemaliza shule Ndaki. na huu rembo wake utakuwa anautumia positive amen amen shukrani sana bro na mpenzi mtazamaji basi e, sina budi kuweza e, kutamatisha e, salams tulikuwa tunazungumza tu e, tuweze kujua Je, wa Kenya wana hisia gani kuhusiana na hili masuala ya kwamba shule zimefungwa kwa muda mrefu? Alafu pia tulikuwa tunachukua maoni kuweza kuangalia je, wazazi ama wa Kenya wanachukua responsibility gani kuweza kuhakikisha mindset za watoto wa shule zimebaki pale pale hawaendi astray? Na pia tumeweza kuzungumza na mayuti, tumeweza kuzungumza na wakereketwa wenyewe ambao wanahusika ndani ya mchakato mzima wa elimu na corona. Basi mpenzi mtazamaji, tukutane baada ya muda usoko mrefu katika kile kitengo chetu cha Puagika, swali letu la siku kama kawa kama kalambwanda usibonyeze kidude karibu tena ndani ya Kiji Weni show eh tukiwa tuko ndani ya Puagika toka tuulize watu wa huruma je mwanagenzi ni mtu wa aina gani mwanagenzi ni mtu wa aina gani ni mtu ambaye anafanya shughuli gani Mwanagenzi ni mtu wa aina gani ni mtu ambaye anafanya shughuli gani basi mpenzi mtazamaji pia ningependa kukupatia fursa ya kuweza kushinda air time ikiwa umekopa na unataka kulipiwa kiji weni show na kupatia fursa ya kuweza kushinda air time and it's very simple au sio chukua simu yako ingia pale youtube tafuta CTN Kenya just subscribe ukisha subscribe Unanitumia hiyo screenshot ya kwamba umesubscribe au sio katika namba 0700 yani 0700 yani 30 68 yani 68 alafu 90 yani 9 0700 30 68 90 nitumie kwa WhatsApp hiyo screenshot Watu wa nne wa kwanza watakonitumanishia hiyo screenshot nitawazawadia na airtime. Kio umewataka kujibamba zaidi kununua bundles nini na nini nitakusoti. Fata procedure sheria na masharti. Basi ndani ya Kiji Weni Show tutembee tuweze kujua mwanagenzi ni mtu wa aina gani. Yes dadi habari yako? Nzuri sana. Hebu baba niambie unaitwa nani na unafanya shughuli gani? Naitwa Bernard Ndumbi. Bernard? Ndumbi. Ndumbi. Eh. Wewe unafanya shughuli gani bro? Na usanga second hand clothes. Na biashara inakupelekaje hususan katika hili umsimu wa corona? Biashara tukiangalia sasa iko chini sana jo hii corona. Sasa hivi nguo ndio simeanza kuingia ingia. Naam. Kwa at least kidogo tuzi kama hapo awali. Si kama hapo awali. Eh. Na nikuuliza uko na mtu ambaye unasomesha pengine? Niko nao. Uko nao. Eh. Wangapi? <laughs> Watano. Okay, watano. <laughs> Baba mwanagenzi ni mtu ai, anafanya shughuli gani? Mwanagenzi ni mtu ambaye anafanya shughuli gani? Sijakuelewa. Mwanagenzi, nikisema mwanagenzi, mm. kama vile mjenzi tunajua ni mtu ambaye anajenga nyumba, mm. 
ambaye ama mwashi tunajua ni mtu ambaye anajenga nyumba je mwana genzi wana anafanya shughuli gani kiswahili nimetatiza kidogo hapo nimetatiza kidogo hapo kiswahili nimetatiza kidogo hapo mwana genzi jana kusikilia mwana genzi ni mtu ambaye anafanya shughuli gani pia anapika anapeleka gari eh anafanya shughuli gani mwana genzi hapo sikanishi usikanishi shukran sana bro ubarikiwe sawa Mambo poa hebu niambie unaitwa nani? Anne. Unaitwa Anne. Una jina moja kama mkate? Anne Salva. Okay. Anne Salva. Salva. Unasoma? Mm. Unasoma wapi? Brainiac. Ha? Brainiac. Dururuna. Una uko darasa la ngapi? Form 1. Form 1. Mm. Uh, Wewe kukaa nyumbani una, unaona vipi? Sasa watu kurudishi ule. Watamani kurudishi ule? Kwa sababu umechoka kusaidia wazazi kuosha vyombo, si ndio? Umechoka sana kuwekwa hapa kuuza uza si ndio? <laughs> okay, hebu niambie mwanagenzi ni mtu ambaye anafanya shughuli gani? Anajenga ama anapika? Mwanagenzi ni mtu ambaye anafanya shughuli gani? Anajenga. Ha? Anajenga. Mwanagenzi? Anafanya nini? Anajenga. Sauti kidogo. Mwanagenzi? Anajenga. Anajenga. Shukrani sana. <laughs> Habari yako mama? Nzuri. Salama. Unaitwa nani mamaangu? Ruben Emali. Ah? Ruben Emali. Okay. Mami uko na watoto ambao wanasoma? Ah, amemaliza. Amemaliza. Wajukuu wanasoma. Wanasoma. Eh. Unawapenda sana. Sana. Unawaambia nini? Wameboyeka kwa nyumba sana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mami nataka nitarudi kuulize mwanagenzi ni mtu ambaye anafanya nini? Eh? Mwanagenzi ni mtu ambaye anafanya shughuli gani? Yana. Mwana genzi ni mtu ambaye anafanya shughuli gani? Anapika, ni mtu ambaye anafua nguo, ni mtu ambaye mwana genzi ni mtu ambaye anakatakata mboga. Mwana genzi ni mtu aina gani? Wa kuuza kama tunauza hivi. Eh. Wa kupiga na kutunga watoto. Na kutunga watoto. Huyo eh. ndiye mwana genzi. Eh. Acha <laughs> <laughs> nitukuze na mama hapa. Habari yako mami? Nzuri sana. Hebu mami niambie unaitwa nani unafanya shughuli gani? Mimi naitwa Mama Kinywa. Mama Kinywa, Kinywa kwa aje? Kinywa kwa salama. Basi mama wataja Kinywa peke yake mbona wao warembo wataji? Wa gani? Kwa nini una mrembo mama? Niko naye. Sasa si umtaje? Anaitwa Anji. Anji. Ye 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 Anji mama mama Anji. Yes, mami. Mhm. Mwanagenzi ni mtu ambaye anafanya shughuli gani? Mwanajeshi. Mwanagenzi. Mwanagenzi? Eh ni mtu ambaye anafanya shughuli gani mami? Anaye jenga. Anaye? Jenga. Kujenga nini? Nyumba. <laughs> Mama anasema mwana genzi ni mtu ambaye anajenga nyumba. <laughs> Ichakuwa tabu, ichakuwa tarabu. Tupate tupate mami hapa. Habari yako dadi? Mzuri. Salamu. Unaitwa nani babangu? Naitwa Baranaba Kimorio Odongo. Baranaba Kimorio Wadongo. Odongo. Odongo. Yeah. Una nyumba nyingi za udongo mzee ama? Hapana sina nyumba mingi. Okay. Yeah. Jina Odongo linamaanisha nini? Odongo ni matope. Ni matope? Yeah. <laughs> Kwa hivyo twende Kiswahili. Unasema unaitwa nani nani nani? Nan, nan? Baranaba Kimori Odongo. Hiyo Odongo sasa itaje Kiswahili? Eh? Baranaba kido eh? Baranaba Kimori Odongo. Hiyo Odongo itaje Kiswahili sasa? Sikijui hapo. Baranada Kimori matope. Kweli uongo? Eh, ni kweli. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bwana matope. Yeah. Mwana genzi ni mtu aina gani? Anafanya shughuli gani mwana genzi? Hapo sijajua sana. Kesi kidogo. Sijajua. Mwana genzi, mwana genzi. Mwana genzi ni mjengiagi. Ni m? Mjengi ya wa nyumba. <laughs> Shukrani sana mama. Wewe tupata mtu mwingine tu atatuambia nini? Habari yako mami? Nzuri. Niko na mami hapa amekula ameshiba mami mrembo. Mremboti mitili ya malaika. Eh mami unaitwa nani? Evelyn. Evelyn. Unafanya shughuli gani hapa? Hakuna. Hakuna. Mm. Umekaa, si ndio? Eh. Mwana genzi ni mtu aina gani? Ah, sijui. Sijui. Mwana genzi jaribu kugesi. Ah, siwezi gesi, sijui. Kabisa? Mm. 
na mpenzi mtazamaji basi sina budi kuweza kutamatisha <laughs> kitengo hichi cha puagika. Tulikuwa tunauliza tu swali dogo mwana genzi ni mtu wa aina gani? Mwana genzi ni mtu wa aina gani? <laughs> Ama anafanya shughuli gani? Mwana genzi ni sawasawa ni seme mwanafunzi. Ni mtu anayesoma. Mwana genzi ni mtu anayesoma hususan ama mahususi katika kiwango cha chuo kikuu huyo anaitwa mwana genzi na mpenzi mtazamaji kumbuka na kupatia fursa ya kuweza kushinda air time very simple very simple najua umekuwa ume ukisubscribe katika youtube channel za watu tofauti tofauti lakini hakuna return ambayo unaipata leo CTN TV ndani ya Kijiweni show na kupatia fursa ya kuweza kushinda air time ambao unaweza kupigia mtu yoyote yule ambao unataka kumpigia. Unaweza kununua bundles pale na hiyo air time. Very simple. Chukua simu yako kama uko na smartphone. Ingia pale YouTube, andika City and Kenya. Subscribe katika hiyo YouTube channel ya City and Kenya. Alafu unitumanishie screenshot katika nambari 0700 30 68 90 Watu wa nne wa kwanza watakuwa na wazawadia na air time kama kawa kama kalambuanda tukutane baada ya mdoso kwa mrefu katika kile kitengo chetu cha rap battle msanii wetu wa siku usibanduke usibonyeze kidude kukukumbusha tu tofauti ya bad na fly is that a bird can fly and a fly cannot bird usikose kusubscribe ili uweze kushinda air time i'll be back Na mpenzi mtazamaji karibu tena ndani ya Kiji Wenisho ikiwa najiunga nasi sasa this is CTN TV wananiita Ronga wa Salama aka Baba Prince aka the strongest man who killed a dead lion Kumbuka nimekupatia tu fursa ya kuweza kushinda air time au sio? Eh, tulivyokuwa tumekwenda mapumziko nimekwambia kwamba unaweza kushinda air time hapa ndani ya Kiji Weni Show. Nakwambia tu ingia katika YouTube, eh? YouTube tafuta neno CTN Kenya. Subscribe. Ukisha subscribe, bonyeza hiyo ke, ke, alama ya kengele hapo. Usio ili uweze kupata notification alafu screenshot. Nitumie kwa nambari 0700030698 kisaini yani 0700 30 nine ukishadi tumia the first four people nitakuwa nawapatia air time moja kwa moja au sio niko na msanii mkali sana ndani ya rap battle brother mambo vipi poa sana <laughs> na kono uko na psych bro maana yeye liko nayo umekula nini leo manake da si kawaida yako <laughs> so ni Mungu <laughs> Mungu tu Mungu yeah. okay niko na msanii ambapo ni msanii ambao bado ni msomi bado anasoma na anafanya praise eh, and worship songs eh, na nataka aweze kutupatia bio yake atuambie je yeye ni nani eh yeye ni nani ajieleze tu kama kawa kama kanambuanda bro hebu jieleze waambie watazamaji who are you Give us your bio. Okay. Uh, my name is Barnabas. Uh, I'm a gospel minister and uh, I, mean, I I have my own original songs on YouTube. Uh, yeah, so generally that's what I do. Plus I'm also in school. I'm doing a bachelor's degree in mathematics. Also I'm studying music in Kamata. Yeah, generally yes. Yeah. Okay. Anakwambia kwamba ana anafanya music katika Kamata. What is Kamata, bro? Oh it's a school called Kamata Institution of Music. Oh Institution of Music. Brother niko na fununu zako bro ya kwamba nyimbo yako imenominatiwa mahali. We will come to that. Okay. okay. <laughs> we will come to that. Okay, brother tuambie ulianza mziki lini? Uh, officially nilianza 2019 last year with my first song Wanipenda which was received very well. Sasa Wanipenda alikuwa mwimbia msichana ama No, nikwambia. Ali gara imba kuhusu Mungu. Eh, upendo wake kwa anakupenda. Naam, yeah. Hata mimi pia Mungu ananipenda. Okay. Mm, kilichokusukuma kuweza kutunga wanipenda. Ah, uh, nilikuwa nimepitia changamoto za people discouraging me by telling me, "Oh, you know, they, you know, I'll never make it or you know just saying bad things about me." 
And so one day, mm -hmm. bad things about you. Yes. Yani kivipi ki upande wa mziki ama ki upande wa maisha? Ah, ki maisha na kimziki pia. Like kimziki walikuwa wananiambia sauti yangu na nyongo ni kiimba. <laughs> Eh 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 you know I'm not good enough like wanasema mbona naimba na kizungu yani wanajai kuniambia vile natunga nyimbo zangu haijafika kiwango yani standard na pia kuniambia you know maybe some judged me by maybe how I look or you know different things yani so but one day can hit that kuna mtu yani hangali yangu hizi vitu zote anaangalia tu nini moyo wangu na ananipenda regardless that's why uh, it was inspired by that. Wewe ambayo kwa ponje, yani siyamini mpaka dakika ibado kuna watu ambao wanaeza kudiscourage mtu. Ikiwa na wewe unatabia za kudiscourage mtu, hapo, <laughs> ushindwe, manake wewe nindugia ke shetani. Shindwa! Katika china la Yesu Kristo. Shindwa! <laughs> wewe mtu kudiscourage mtu. Okay, brother. No. Uh, yes? Uh, then uh, I went on to release my other song, Free. Uh, followed by another one in Kikuyu called da Dakurehera. Dakurehera, yes. meaning? Uh, I bring you e, my... Dakuletea. E, e, da e. e. <laughs> yeah. E. Uh, then followed by uh, Mwakawangu, which has been doing the best. Yani. E, it was really received in a way I, I wasn't expecting. Okay. Yeah. Then, yeah, then now, the, now I'm about to release my new song. Your new song. Single. Yeah. Kwa, okay, kwa sasa uko na nyimbo gapi? Uko na nyimbo tano kwa YouTube. Kwa YouTube, ziko nyimbo tano. Gani na gani na gani? Uh, wanipenda. Wanapupenda. Free. Free. Another one I sang for my mother called Happy Birthday, Mom. Happy Birthday, tupatia uh, uh, freestyle yake. Yeah, Akapela. Man. Okay. <clears throat> Happy Birthday to you. Oh, Mom, I can't believe. That you're my mom celebrating you. Oh, mom, so proud to sing that you're my mom. Nakubali. Hey, what's up? 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 Ah, wanipenda, free, happy birthday. Oh, da, da kurehera. Da kurehera? Yeah. Then, then, which one? Which one is there? Kai, mbona sawi nyumba zangu. Watazifuata, <laughs> manaki nitawambia wazifuate. <laughs> Sindio? <laughs> okay, brother. Uh -huh. eh, na pengine changamoto ambazo unazipitia. Uh -huh. Ni changamoto gani, bro? Ah, changamoto ya, ya kwanza ni usani kabla yanze kulipa. Like, pia YouTube. Wakuna standards ziko high sana. Na pia before uanze kuitwa show, okay, show uta uneza pata. Lakini wana unajiweni upcoming, wata kupea kitu. Ata, ata, ata fair, yari, they, wana kubebanga ni kawa wana kuexpose. So they don't even try to appreciate. So changa motoka hizo, whereby I feel on platforms are made for upcoming artists. Kindly, at least what to appreciate too. And uh, generally pia music, uh, pesa ya kuenda studio pia ni changa moto sana. Apart from upate watu wana kusupport, at least wana, wana kusaidia ya ni kukupush. Yeah, generally hizo, hizo mina za sana. Sasa, wewe unaimba gospel songs. Yeah. E, show kama gani ambazo unapigia. Manaketi, unaona show ni, okay, watazamaji wengi wanasewa, wana, wana mtazamu wa komba. Show ni watu pengine wa genge tonu wende pale. He, he, katika mapati nini, he, he. Wewe sasa, show zako kama gani. Well, for now, uh, since Corona happened, because Corona happened wakati nikuwa na, naanza kufuma. Mm -hmm. So, nini, uh, I've not been to any official show. But I've been, nimekuwa nikitambea kwa machaches, uh, small events for, for my friends and people who know me. Yeah, trying to, you know, continue expanding my fan base. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. brother. Yeah. Eh, pengine tu ni kuulize. Hmm? Mm -hmm. ne, eh, kuna mtazamaji pengine pale nji ambayi wataka, wataka, wataka kutuku kuku, kupata ule usono kutoka kwako. Ulifikaje, ulifikaje, fikaje. Manake eh, gospel music, bro. Yeah. Kupenya. Kupenya na kukubalika, ulifikaje fikaje mpaka hapa ambapo umeshika. Well, for me, I believe when you are different and unique and you just follow without copying other people what they are doing, there, someone will, will identify your uniqueness. And that's what I've been doing. I've not been trying to copy anyone. I've been doing my own style. And that is what people have been seeing and identifying and feeling. They want to, you know, get more of that. So, you know, it's idea so far. Okay, uko na management. Uh, at the moment, I'm working with a team, uh, Wanaitoa Waruks Production. 
that is composed of my producer Pia Pod Jamie. He's in producer Mkali Sana. <laughs> Big up. <laughs> hey, Pia Pod man, na, na, <laughs> na, I respect you so much. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nam. Na Pia uh, Warooks, the owner of that studio, Warooks. Na Pia, I'm working also with a friend of mine called Steve Joe. I'm in Push Sana. Yeah. my brother who is a designer man. Unaona host. Okay brother. Nataka tuzungumzie kuhusiana na na nyimbo yako ambayo imekuwa nominated mahali. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. Na nimeona nimeona ya kwamba inafanya vizuri. Mm. Ni nyimbo ambayo inafanya vizuri. Mm. Na hata nikiangalia account yako ya YouTube ni account ambayo ina grow vizuri na pesa nzuri. Mm. Brother. Mm. Hebu kwanza tuambie hiyo nyimbo ni nyimbo gani? So hiyo song inaitwa Free. It was a song about mental health, uh, depression because it's something you know I identify a lot with. So nini nili uh, actually hata tujaifanyia video. I was shocked that you know I never thought this song of all my songs could ever be nominated. So I was really shocked. Since it's to Lipeleka I nominate I think someone who just saw the song and just felt he deserves to be nominated. Yeah and uh, the, the awards are called Verse 5 Awards. Verse 5 Africa Awards and voting is free. You are given a f- one free vote per day. So kindly and I took our website here Verse 5 Africa Please uh, vote for me. Naitwa Barnabas. Utaiona hapo kwa category ya alternative sounds. Utaiona hapo Barnabas featuring Saumu Kombo called Free. And please nashukuru sana. Yeso itakubariki sana. Eh maze. Amejieleza vya kutosha. Au sio? Nenda ukamvotie. Just vote for him. Manake tuki ule mkono ambao unatoa ndio mkono ambao Una, unapokea zaidi na ndio mkono ambao unabarikiwa zaidi brother no. mazingira gani ambayo mliitunga hii nyimbo maana unajua nyimbo mpaka ikijifike mahali ina nominatiwa bro eh mliitunga katika mazingira gani uh, honestly that time i was going through depression and i felt you know i was trying to express myself music is one thing that for me has helped me to relieve myself of so many stress stressful things so uh, at that moment i was feeling i was like at my end uh, and i was feeling I, I just want to be free you know free from all these anxieties free from all these worries and so i decided to just pour my heart vile tuna feel i don't care how people will take it i'm going to just pour my truth and my heart in that song then i met up with another artist called Saumu Kombo ni spoken word artist pia ni mnoma sana and uh, we we collaborated on the song she did some spoken word and Jamie produced it, so and I, I was shocked that. That was all. Yeah, that was all. Yani mki miujiza miujiza tu. Eh, mungu tu. Anatenda miujiza. Au nafanya mchezo ewe. Okay, brother. Pengine kwa zaidi zaidi tu. Au sio? Kwa zaidi zaidi tu. Unajiona vipi e, kufikia miaka mi na kupatia miaka mitatu kufiki kuanzia sasa. Unajiona wapi? Uh, now, na nitakuwa nimefikia watu wengi sana na nimewabariki si tu mimi nionekane but my music uh, it is going to really help so many people because actually Barnabas means son of hope son of hope and so I, I intend to do that with my music so much so I know in 3 years time nitakuwa nime achieve that in a in a big uh, you know uh, plat- uh you know yani kupenya kabisa okay. and also no na nitakuwa nimeanzisha vitu zangu za kusaidia bado watu because I'm really passionate about helping the youth so now I'm going to do projects that are going to be able to support the talent, to support the talent, and I'm going to be able to support the talent. Okay, Barnabas, you've been working on the show in the show, the show in 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 the show. Barnabas, you've been working on the show. Now, you've been working on the show in the show. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to be able to do it. You know, God just... I never knew that watching it, one day I'll be there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so honored to be here. Yeah, and you're one of the best hosts, by the way. So I appreciate Sana and your production and all that. And I thank Sana to be a part of this. Siju mpeti mtasamaji unasemaje. Au sio? Barnabas anakwambia kijiwe ni show iko juu. Wekiwa una bana shauri yako. Maana ke tumesema asiyependa vizuri vya wenzake. Huyo ni shetani na shindwe. Barnabas wanakupata vipi katika uh, social media? So all my social media handles are Barnabas KE on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. 
yeah and eh, just simply that please sub subscribe to my channel there's a new song dropping uh this Thursday so please kindly just watch it share it now ntabarikiwa sana na hiyo new song iki drop this this Thursday itachezwa kwanza kabisa ndani ya City NTV itachezwa kwanza kabisa ndani ya City NTV kwa hivyo endelea kutegea eh kwenye City NTV upate eh, eh, kazi za wasanii wachanga upate kazi za wasanii ambao wa kutoka grassroots wanakuja kali ni bar numbers unamwambia nini mtazamaji unamwambia nini yule kijana ambaye ako, ako na talent pale nyumbani unamwambia nini yule mzazi ambaye yuko pale nyumbani unamwambia nini kuhusiana na talent za, za watoto talent kitu ninasema bible inachukulia nga talent very seriously in fact inasema talent is the only thing that will make you den with kings so wazazi eh, kama unaona kijana yako wako na talent usimpressure sana kufanya yes wacha afanye vitu zingine but kindly support them because kids are falling into depression because they have no support but if you as a parent just take the initiative kum support tu vile utaweza vile tu uwezo wako huko um support tu huyu kijana trust me he be more happy than Eva yani eh na ata atatumia kipaji yake kumtukuza pia Mungu. Wazazi wako wanako support? Eh my mom kwanza. Yaani kwa jamaa mmezidi bana. Yaani kila atakayekuja kijioni show ni my mom. My mom kwa ni madadi mko wapi? Eh? Na vile mimi napenda Prince. Eh? Kwa ni madadi mko wapi? Vile napenda Suleiman. Okay. Yeah. Mama unamwambia nini? Mama one day I'll win a word for you. Uh, Najua yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Na mpenzi mtazamaji E, nilikuwa na Barnabas niki durusu durusu tu maswala moja mbili tatu ili tuweze kumjua zaidi ako na ako amekuwa nominated tafadhali muweze kumpigia kura hebu nikumbushe ni Avas 5 awards Avas 5 awards nenda pale tafadhali vote for Barnabas tafadhali ili aeze kupata hiyo award Nasi akipata hiyo award mtakuja kuiona kwa mara ya kwanza ndani ya Kijiweni show City NTV Thursday akiwa ana release nyimbo yake mtaweza pia kuiona ndani ya CTN TV. Waliniita baba Prince aka Ronga wa Salama aka the strongest man who killed a dead lion. It was rap battle msanii wa siku with bar numbers tukutane jumamosi ijayo. Wakaa na kasiki kama ya leo. Lakini kabla niende ningependa kukwambia hivi keep social distance wear a mask tumia kieuzi i mean sanitizer ikiwa hauna sanitizer tafadhali osha mikono na sabuni kwa sekunde ishirini. ili tuweze kupigana na ugonjwa wa corona na ndipo his excellency uhuru mwigai kinyata atafungua uchumi wetu na pia huu jamaa if we don't behave normally these things will irritate us abu no mari atashi atutamnyamazisha katika mativi atakuwa haji kila wakati kutuambia takwimu vile zinavyo zinavyokwenda tukutane next week